Hey, what's going on? John from Think About Comics. Today I got Dark Crisis 6 of 7. Great book. I enjoy this series. It's not a series that I really wanted. I feel like we went from one event to the other, but this one is really doing a good job. This issue should just be, you know, the future state guys. It, 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 that's their show. It's their show. You have Yara Floor, the new Batman, and Superboy becoming Superman and just taking on everybody. Superboy, John Kent steals the show. Um, I feel like this was his moment. I feel like DC did a really good job. Um, and it pays attention more to the details that came in the anniversary issue of the death of Superman where he gets told the story of his dad's death. And when he fights Doomsday in this issue, it just means a little more. And I know a lot of people probably didn't get that book because it was $10.99. But if you got that book and you read it and then you read this, it just meant a little more. Um, overall, Justice League comes back in the end. Not a whole lot. Like nothing new. You know, it's kind of the status quo. They're fighting Deathstroke's, Deathstroke's army. They're fighting, you know, the, this, this huge dark army. And they're, they're backs up against the wall. And then the... The original Justice League comes back, you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Green Lanterns, the, the, all the Green Lanterns come back except, you know, Oliver Queen has to stand by because he wasn't one of the people that was originally taken. He, he went on accident, so he has to stay behind, but we all know they're going to bring him back. He'll, he'll get his own side story, you know, miniseries, and, and that'll be the end of it. Look, this has one issue left. I'm curious uh, to see how they wrap it up because... This book seemed to me like they were trying to replace the Justice League. Um, they're showcasing a lot of their older characters, not older characters, but their new characters uh, from Future State um, that may not have picked off the way that they wanted to or taken off the, the way that DC had wanted to. And they put them in a really good light here. And I think we're going to see, you know, maybe a Yar Floor series come out of this, uh, a better Superboy series. Not saying that the one going on isn't that good. It's just I felt like... What happened in this book should have happened in his own series where he's fighting everybody and you see how powerful he really is. Um, you know, there's a new Batman series going on. I've kind of dipped in and out of it. Currently, I'm out of it. Uh, but this one definitely uh, got me more intrigued with, with, you know, what this new Batman is because he kind of was like, oh, I don't want to deal with nothing. I'm going to focus on New York. And he shows up here and he's like willing to be part of the team. And I think that makes him a little more appealing. And I might pick up a new issue of his based on this book and see where the, see where that takes it. But this book is really a selling point of, hey, get back into these heroes that you may have read before or were forced to read before and you weren't with it. But I think this book might make you uh, more with it, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But hey, as always, give us that like, that subscribe. And tell us what you thought of Dark Crisis. You know, hey, if you hated it, you hated it. Kind of in the middle of this series. I just feel like it's kind of unnecessary. But... Even though we are getting it overall, I, I like what Josh Williamson is doing with this series. Some of the tie-ins have been hit or miss. Some of them have been really cool. But, uh, hey, it is what it is. Uh, thanks for checking me out.